Since you need to decided to stop caring about the indie game devs and studio recently, adding some extra fees, ruining its own reputation and losing trust from its community, I decided to go check out some possible game engine substitutes to learn and use in the future, if something bad will might happen again. Hopefully there are many different game engines out there, like Unreal Engine, Godot, Construct, Game Maker, and Scratch. And yeah, they are all differently good in their way. But to me, what catch my interest diving on YouTube recently is Godot, which is also growing really, really fast after this. So to test if this game engine can beat Unity, I decided to create a game in only 24 hours. I'm actually pretty confident. Study Unity for almost one year now made me think it will be not so hard then start using an engine with zero experience. So yeah, let's see what we can do. So first thing first, we need to download Godot, which is completely free and open source, with a well-structured online documentation and JDA script as a main language, which is really similar to Python. So it's pretty easy to start with, but if you come from Unity like me and you want to program in C Sharp, you can always download the mono version of Godot, which is also includes other languages. But because I wanted to learn new stuff and see how programming with JDA scripts looks like, I decided to go with the normal version also because it has a IDE inside the editor and yeah that's it now that we took a general look at the software let's create a new project and start working on our first game but before we need to have an idea and because we have only 24 hours we need to plan it really well so I opened a new Milano page and I started schematizing things and writing down some simple game concepts basically it will be a simple 2d platform game where you are a tiny dinosaur who has to chase its egg to complete the level. There will be like 5 or 6 levels, but every time you touch an enemy or a trap, you will restart from zero. So basically, Godot runs all around nodes. There are a lot of different types of nodes, and each one with different functions and parameters. And yeah, they work pretty much like either components and game objects in Unity. So to make our first scene, let's create a new empty 2D node and rename it level 1. Now if you know me, you also probably know that I like doing the basic sprites first. So using my pixel art editor, I draw a little cute dinosaur, which it will be our main character. And then I've tried also to make a bunch of animation, such as idle, jump, run and dodge. After that, I also created my first ever tile set which in this case it was the grass tie set and I was really struggling to fit the blocks in the proper way, duh. But after all the sudden and remake them multiple times, now they're fitting pretty well. So after this I built up the first level using the tile map node. I scripted some basic player movement using the character body 2D and added a temporary background. After that, as I said a few seconds ago, we need an egg to chase and at least one trap to make the player go. So this is the egg and this is the trap, which is a spear. Then because for now our player is basically sliding on the ground, I wrote a bunch of line of code in the player movement script to play the animation of the dinosaur. So now is way better to see. After that I also re-changed the background, this time adding some kinda mountains. I think, taking inspiration from one of my favorite games which is Super Mario. Now if we accidentally sleep on the ground and we fall off the view, the player will still falling in infinite void, which is actually pretty scary. So I created a boundary block to make the player respawn whenever it goes out from the camera view. Then I reused pretty much the same script for the spear trap. So whenever we collide with it, we basically respond as the same way as we touch the boundary. That's because I was too lazy to make a different script. But they've been past already 6 hours, so yeah, we need to move on. Now let's create a temporary main menu where we can start playing our game. So put the title right here, yep, and um, add a button play and um, another button for exit the game. All right, so after make the buttons interactive, I fixed the dodge function by adding another collider to the dinosaur body, which the thickest one is the collider for the dodging and the tallest one is for the normal standing. And whenever we click the S button on the keyboard, the normal collider will stop working and vice versa. It worked pretty much like a switch. So yeah, pretty cool. Now that the first level has been done, we need to make the second 
but before doing that, we need to attach a script on the egg to switch automatically to the next level whenever we collide with it. So by adding this simple, genius 3000 IQ line of code, now our dinosaur can progress on its little journey. So now it's time to work on the second level. And to avoid repetitiveness, I decided to add a little bit of tricky with a little puzzle feature, where basically there is this kind of locked door and to pass through it, you need a key. So first, we need to draw the sprites. This is the locket drawer and this is the key. Now, put them inside Godot and writing down my bunch of line of code, we are able to pick up the key and with an interpolation function, we can bring it to the door to open it and chase the egg. Oh, f I mean, and chase the egg. After the second level, it's time for the third one. So after placing the tie blocks, the spears and the egg, I added a new item to use, a hammer. And it will be useful to break this kind of cage where inside it there is the egg that without breaking the cage you won't be able to catch it. So you should take the hammer before you go, trust me. So using the same script as the key, now we can bring with us also the hammer. And when we get close to the cage, boom, we can break it and win the level. During the rest hours I spend the time watching some tutorials and reading down some documentation to fix some bugs and try to add new stuff. Like on the fourth level where the things start to get a little more complicated, I added this kind of chunky dinosaur. And watching a tutorial, I made a simple AI patrol for it. So it runs non-stop left and right. And what you have to do to reach the egg, it's kinda cool. Because if you jump from the ground, you won't be able to reach the egg. But if you jump on its back and then jump again, you will be able to chase it. But keep attention, because if you're gonna collide with the head of the dinosaur, you will be dead. Because there were remaining a couple of hours because the countdown will finish, I added the last level. The hardest one, where basically I put in it all the things and traps possible. The new entry in this level is this p pterodactyl, which is a type of dinosaur, but with wings. And after drawing him, put in Ingudo and create a new AI patrol script, now we have to pay attention in the air, because <laughs> it's not safe anymore. Oh. Finally, after making the 5 levels, I decided to add a congratulations screen for completing the game, even if it won't be public. But yeah, I made it for myself. So to play it in its integrity, I exported it for Mac. And yes, all works pretty well. For a 24 hour game, I think we have done a pretty good job. And I'm actually pretty happy for the result. After all, Godot seems a pretty good and simple software to learn and use as an obvious game developer. Actually, I won't recommend it for big projects or ideas because it's still kind of empty in some areas. But I trust the developers who created this and I hope in the future they will add some more cool features that there are in the current version of Unity. So yeah, we will see. So guys, if you enjoyed that video, please smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for more game development content. And if you have something to say about the game or about Godot or Unity or whatever you want to say, please make sure to leave a comment under the video. So guys, we will see you next time. Bye. Yeah, it, it, it's kind... It's getting a little dark right here, so...